Did you know that the way you eat, move, and sleep can actually impact your mood? There's a lot of information out there, and sometimes it can be hard to know how to make changes to improve your well-being. So we've reviewed trusted resources and worked with youth and other experts so that we can share some of the tips that we found useful. Eating. We know, we've all heard that we're supposed to be eating healthy, but what does that really mean? And how can you actually make this work for you? Start by visualizing your plate and think about the ways that you can get the nutrients you need. Something like this. If you're just starting to cook at home, give yourself a break because it can be a bit of a disaster. Thankfully, there are a lot of easy recipes online. Go down the YouTube rabbit hole and see what you can find. Don't worry, you don't have to give up all the foods you love. Even changing your habits a little bit can make a difference. And stay hydrated. Drink water when you're thirsty instead of sugary drinks. And try using a phone app to track how much water you're drinking to reach your goals. Movement. As important as regular exercise is for your physical health, it can also have mood-boosting powers. It's recommended to exercise three times a week for 45 to 60 minutes each time. And while that may seem daunting, there are simple ways that you can incorporate exercise into your life. You might have to try a few different things until you find one you actually enjoy. Keep in mind, the gym isn't the only place where you can exercise. Whatever works for you, as long as it gets your heart pumping. We might get so pumped about exercising and set unrealistic goals that leave us feeling down and defeated if we don't achieve them. Set reasonable expectations and be proud of yourself for your accomplishments, no matter how big or small. Scheduling time to work out and putting it in your phone might be a good way to hold yourself accountable. Sometimes people can have complicated relationships with food and exercise, or even experience challenges with an eating disorder. These tips may not apply to you, if you want more support, talk to the people you trust or a doctor to find other ways that you can improve your well-being. Sleep. Have you ever had one of those nights where you just can't fall asleep no matter how many sheep you count or you find yourself glued to your pillow all morning? You're not alone. Sleep is something that many people struggle with. While there's nothing better than sleeping in after a late night watching Netflix, it's best to try and wake up and go to sleep at the same times every day. Open your blinds as soon as you wake up in the morning. The natural light will tell your brain the day has started. And try not to regularly nap during the day. As good as that nap may feel, it'll rob you of your sleep later. Same thing with caffeine. We know it's nice to have a coffee to keep you going or a pop with dinner, but try to avoid caffeine after 2 p.m. It lasts in the body for a long time and blocks a chemical that your brain needs to sleep well. As your body gets ready for bed, it's important to create a routine to wind down for the night. Phones emit blue light, which may make it harder to fall asleep. Most phones have a blue light filter that you can switch on. Why not try it? It may help your brain to get ready for sleep and can be a cue to put your phone down for the night. Fill your routine with relaxing activities. Read a book, take a warm shower, or try meditating and make sure your room is dark. Whatever your routine is, use the same one every night. And on the nights where nothing seems to work, take some time to breathe. <sighs> Remember, it takes time for new habits to stick. So give yourself a break and do what works best for you. Practicing these things together can have a positive impact on your mood. If you have other ways to support your mental health, tell us in the comments. And check out our video on depression here. Thanks for watching.